Hi, I'm Diane Marie Collins, and you have entered the DM Zone. I'm visiting tonight with Roberta Gabarini, and she is jazz singer extraordinaire. And we are here at MIM, the Musical Instrument Museum in Phoenix, Arizona. Welcome, Roberta. Thanks. <laughs> it's great to be here. I love to be here. It's a place I love. I oh. played here a few times, and it's an amazing venue. Well, you answered one of my questions, because I was going to ask you if this was your first time here or not. No, actually, I played here three times. This is probably my third time. Oh, I love it. I love it. And this is a wonderful venue. Yes, it's an amazing venue. And the museum, the museum is incredible. So, yeah. <laughs> we agree. Tell me about what led you from Turin, Italy to become a jazz singer. Um, my parents are jazz fans. By the way, they're here now, so it's happy. We're That's spending, so exciting. <laughs> yeah, spending Christmas in a warm place. Uh, yeah, my parents are big jazz fans. They used to take me to jazz concerts when I was very little. They had record collection, so... It was something, a natural progression. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. So. And now, I, I know that tonight you have what an incredible lineup of guys behind you. Tell me a little bit about the band. Behind me and with me, I should say. <laughs> so, or, or maybe I should say, I'm with them. <laughs> You'd be better. Uh, yes, it's a great honor and pleasure to sing, to share the stage with uh, a master of the music, a legend, Mr. Jimmy Cobb on drums, and another master, a piano player, uh, George Cables. You know, both these two greats are part of history, and I'm very, very excited. We just did a little winter tour with uh, with Jimmy, and we were in several cities in Chicago, Blue Note, with this same uh, setting. We were in Blue Note in New York City, so it was great. And on bass, we have a wonderful young bass player who plays with uh, Roy Hargrove, mm -hmm. and whose name is Amin Salim. Well, speaking of legends, Hank Jones proclaimed you the best since Ella Fitzgerald. What does that make you feel? I think he liked my cooking. <laughs> That's well, he left us. So he, <laughs> he left us in 2010. But listening to your recordings, I would have to agree with him. Now it, it it's just fabulous. <laughs> One of the other. he was a wonderful person, and you know, for a while we were really, really uh, close. You know, we toured all of the place. We used to sit around and in New York and just play, play like that. Now you're based out of New York. Talk to me about the journey that brought you here to the United States as a jazz singer. Well, I just one day I decided that uh, I had done whatever I was able to do <laughs> in terms of uh, really career and concerts and experiences in Italy, and it was time to just leave. So I, I left. It was really... <laughs> and you came to Boston, and I know some of that... Journey. Boston on a scholarship with the New England Conservatory, mm -hmm. but I stayed there very little because right away I entered the semifinals for the Thelonious Monk competition. And uh, there I met Master Jimmy Heath, the great uh, tenor saxophone player, composer, arranger. And uh, Mr. Heath uh, um, almost right away called me up for a, for a gig in, uh, in New York. And so slowly, but not so slowly, <laughs> from there I started to getting calls to perform in New York. Yes. Here we go, on the sunny side of the street. Come on, guess it to go. Walking on the side of the street. Just get ready to be right on the sunny side of the street. Can't you hear a bitter bad that comes with that happy tune is your step? Life can be so divine, right on the sunny side of life. Bow. I well, I, I think that their loss is our gain with the jazz world. And what's new for you up on the horizon? Well, I'm excited about my new album. This is our, I should say our new album, because it's a, it's a collaboration and with uh, uh, another master. Uh, I spoke about him earlier. It's Jimmy Heath. Mm -hmm. And this is something I've been wanting to do for many, many years. It's a collection of all songs written by Jimmy. Most of them has never been heard, leave alone recorded, but some of them are brand, brand new. 
and some of them have lyrics by Mr. Heath, by uh, other people from the, the, the musical and non-musical family, because it's a kind of a labor of love of, of Mr. Heath. And some of them have lyrics that I put. And so we're going to preview some of these songs today also in our concert. Oh, well, uh, your voice like a bell, it's going to sound just fabulous. You've made me so excited about it. How can fans reach you? Do you have a website? I know I've seen you on Facebook. Okay, yeah, mostly for now on Facebook because the new website is in the works. It'll be out uh, at the same time when, uh, when the record will be out, when the Jimmy Heath project. So for now on Facebook, I have a fan page, even if uh, I can't friend you because maybe I went over mm. bored with the French. We understand that. <laughs> addings, but you can always communicate with me and I'll be happy to take your messages. And, and I love it. Well, thank you so much for spending <laughs> time you. with me. Thank you so much. Thank you. you have been in the DM zone. Come back soon. Music is the language of the soul, heard in the voices of every nation, only one museum unites them. Come, see, listen. Experience the world's music as never before at the most extraordinary museum you'll ever hear. The Musical Instrument Museum. MEM, Phoenix, Arizona, 2018-2019.